Here's my top three dishes you're gonna make with teriyaki sauce. What up y'all, it's your boy VCD in the house and you are now rocking to another episode of Good Life Cooking. Today I got three dope dishes that you can make with teriyaki sauce that are super easy, super quick and delicious. Let's get into it. First up, let's make teriyaki sauce. Making teriyaki sauce at home could not be easier. We are in a recession. So we gotta do what we gotta do. And sauce in particular is really expensive. Not to mention everything at the grocery store is expensive. To make a homemade teriyaki sauce, and I got this from Just One Cookbook, we're just going to add half a cup of mirin, half a cup of sake, half a cup of soy. And then the final ingredient, a quarter cup of sugar. We're gonna get this into a pot, reduce it down for about 10 to 12 minutes, and we're ready to go. Sauce is now reduced and it should come out just a little bit thick, but not too thick. We don't want it like a maple syrup or anything like that, but this is what we want. I like to store it in a mason jar, pop it in the fridge. You got a good solid week of teriyaki sauce if you use it every day. First dish, we got teriyaki chicken. Over a bed of rice, pretty easy. I saw this teriyaki plant-based chicken, thought it would be perfect. So let's crack into it and give this a little test. It smells pretty good, it looks like chicken. Put this in a frying pan for five minutes, We'll see how it does. So I got a hot bed of rice here. I'm gonna take those pieces of daring chicken. Let's give it a try. Mmm, it's actually pretty good. I don't want to say it tastes like chicken, although I don't know if taste, chicken actually tastes like anything, but from a textural standpoint, it's good. We're gonna just take our daring pieces of chicken, top it over. It doesn't get much easier than this. What I like to do is just take some blanched pieces of bok choy, get them in the bowl as well, because we always want nice greens in our bowl. Touch of green onions here, some shredded seaweed. This is gonna add a little bit more umami, a little bit more of that ocean flavor. And then moment of truth, our beloved fresh made teriyaki sauce that we will simply pour over. We wanna make sure to coat that rice, coat that chicken. Let's try this. Mmm, it's good. That teriyaki sauce really just brings out the ginger flavors. This chicken hits. Beautiful, simple, easy. Guys, you can make this one in like 15 minutes. On to the next. What you're gonna first do is peel the eggplant. Then what we're gonna do is cut these in threes. So let's just cut off our top first. One, three. Pop these in your steamer basket and we're gonna steam these for about 15 minutes. We just pulled them out of the steamer and what we wanna do is Take the pieces like so. They should be super tender to the touch. And what we're gonna do is cut them in half, but cut them like a book. You know, you want to not cut all the way. And it basically looks like this. Now that we have these cut, we're gonna pop them on a pan, give them some color, come back, put them over a bed of rice, and drizzle that teriyaki sauce down. We have our teriyaki glazed steamed eggplant that we seared to give it some color. Look at how rich those colors came out on that sear. Let's lay it over a bed of rice, just like that. That looks great. Top it off with some green onion, of course. That's gonna help it cut through some of the richness of the teriyaki. We're gonna take some shredded seaweed right over the top. And this is perfect for an unagi style donburi. Lastly, that beloved teriyaki glaze and we're ready to grub down. Look how tender that just cuts right through. Oh my God, this is a perfect piece right here. Got it. Yes. Beautiful. Mmm, I love the texture on the eggplant, the saltiness from the teriyaki, that steamed bed of rice, working with the seaweed again. You guys can make this every day. On to the next easy teriyaki dish. Last dish, super easy. You're not gonna need a pan. You're not gonna need any of that. You're just gonna need an avocado, which we will slice and dice. So we'll just make some slices. We're gonna put that over our bed of rice. I also have some Korean radish. What we're also gonna do is take some fresh radish and make some really, really thin slices on these. Okay, now we get that fresh radish and we're gonna just sprinkle it right over the top. The radish is good. It's gonna balance the saltiness of the teriyaki. We also have, of course, our green onions. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And then I have some remaining blanched bok choy that we'll get. And of course, our shredded seaweed. I love shredded seaweed. If you haven't 
noticed it just makes everything look so much better. Elevate your game with shredded seaweed. Final touches, y'all. We made three dishes so far. I used a bunch of teriyaki glaze and I still have almost half a cup. Yeah, that is looking good. The lovely avocado and rice dish. Always good, always good. I love the creaminess of avocado with that teriyaki glaze, the fresh radish to just cut right through everything. This one is like super healthy, it's oil free, really easy to make. Avocado, great for the brain. This one came out perfect. It always does, you can't go wrong. This is really hard to not do, right? So try this one at home guys, actually try them all. Let me know which one was your favorite. That is all for today. I will come back with a lot more, I promise you that. And if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, do all the things you gotta do. But this is BCD Young Life Cooking. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.